everyone. So today we we'll continue our next lesson, unicellular and multicellular organisms. Organism can be divided into unicellular and multicellular. Uni means one cell, multi means many cells. Here are the examples of unicellular organisms: amoeba, Chlamydomonas, euglena. Paramecium and yeast, while multicellular, muco, hydra and spirogyra. Okay, here I have circle, the unicellular and multicellular organisms. The red circle means it is an animal cell. The green circle means it is a plant cell. Amoeba is an animal cell. Paramecium, animal cell. Chlamydomonas, plant cell, okay, euglena. Why I circle both red and green? Because euglena are both plant and animal. Myocor and spirogyra are plant cells, while hydra is, a, is an animal cell. Now we continue with the various types of human cells and tissues. In human cells, we have Red blood cell, white blood cell, muscle cell, nerve cell, epithelium cell, and reproductive cell. This is red blood cell. It has no nucleus. It is biconcave shape. Okay, like this, we call this as biconcave shape to increase surface area. It contains hemoglobin to transport oxygen. When hemoglobin combined with oxygen, we call it as oxyhemoglobin. It also transport carbon dioxide outside of the body. Okay, this is white blood cells. It has nucleus. The shape can be changed and it kill microorganism or foreign particles. These are the blood tissues. This is white blood cell and this is red blood blood cell in our body. Next, muscle cell. Okay. It looks like an eye, but it's not an eye. This is muscle cell. It contracts and relaxes to enable movement. Next, nerve cell. Like a star. Okay. It contains long fibers. This is fiber. Okay. It carries information in the form of impulse. The impulse in the form of electrical impulse. Next cell is epithelial cell. It form a layer like this. It protect organs and secrete mucus. Okay, now reproductive cell. Here we have ovum cell from female body and sperm cell from male body. Now we go to plant cells. Okay, plant cell like this. Here we have a leaf. Okay, plant cell. When we see the leaf, here is the diagram of cross section of a leaf. Cross section means from here, from this side. Okay, not from upside, but from this side. Although it looks very thin, but it looks like this in the diagram. Okay, here is cross section of a leaf. Okay, so we have cuticle, upper epidermis. This is cuticle, like a wax. Then upper epidermis, palisade cells, xylem, phloem, lower epidermis, here. And we have gut cell and a hole like a stoma. Under the leaf, there is a lot of stoma. But we cannot see it from here. So this is the gut cell and the stoma. A pore between the gut cell. What is the function of gut cell? To control the opening and closing of stoma. A stoma can close and open. It is controlled by gut cell. The stoma open during the day to carry out photosynthesis. Means carbon dioxide gas can diffuse through the stoma into the leaf. The stoma is closed at night or when the plant loses a lot of water on a hot day 
And the last one here, we have root hair cells. Root hair cells increase the surface area and absorb water and nutrient from the soil.